Hi, this is a Promethea moth that just hatched from a cocoon. It's uh, May 27, 2019, Memorial Day. We found this cocoon in the winter time, hanging from a shrub. It, they're easy to find when they're hanging from a shrub with a snowy background. And the female of this species looks different than the male. So this is a female. She has very thin, feathery antenna, whereas the male has very broad, uh, feathery antenna. And the, the female and the male look completely different. We call that a sexual dimorphism. The male is like a dark chocolate brown, and the female is this combination of tan and maroon and a couple other colors. So this time of year, the male flies during the daytime. They may, he mates with the female. They lay eggs, and she feeds the larvae that hatch from the eggs feed on a variety of trees that include apple ashes, basswood birches, cherries, lilac, maples, sassafras, spicebush, sweet gum, and tulip trees. Sometime at the end of summer, early autumn, they spin a silken cocoon and the caterpillar will remain in there all winter. So the caterpillar, as soon as it spins its cocoon, it pupates and they spend all winter in there. And then in, a, in the late spring, they begin to release digestive enzymes that loosen the silk so they can push their way out of the cocoon. They can get out of the cocoon, but other insects can't get in. And this is an adult moth in, in this family, the Saturn moths, do not have functional moth parts, so that means that they don't feed the entire time they're adults. So all they do is they emerge from their cocoons, they find a mate, and they mate, and they lay their eggs, and they die. And over here we have the cocoon that the caterpillar, that the moth emerged from. And it's made of silk. It's not a continuous thread of silk, but it is silken and it just hangs there all winter long. They have all the nutrients that they need to make it through the winter uh, from eating food plants in the spring and summer. And sometimes the cocoons, the, uh, the larvae or the pupae become parasitized. So that means while they're spinning that cocoon, sometimes the silk serves as an attractant for parasitic wasps and these wasps lay their eggs inside the larvae or the pupae and then they emerge the following spring. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it please subscribe and also keep track of our blog of the Mystery Corner. Thank you very much.